everybody. Today I have this 2013 Cummins IS6 in a Cascadia body. This truck is having issues uh, about engine runs and suddenly uh, the engine stops. So going to through the computer data and also we have the amber light on here so on the computer here which is the comments inside we have a file code related to uh, fuel pressure see fuel pressure fuel pressure so this code right here which are inactive which means then we have problems with the fuel pump but the only way you can tell if your fuel pump is bad is by coming over here to data and select fuel pressure rail commanded and measurement click right here and we can see the difference on the pressure see this is the, what the computer is actually requesting and this is what the computer is actually getting from the actual physical pressure which means then the pump is not pumping enough air I mean enough fuel I'm sorry so which means then we have a problem with the high pressure fuel pump in this case if this one right here this is the fuel high the high fuel pressure pump right here uh, because this is a 2013 truck they usually go bad it's a very common failure on this truck so now the pressure is low and if i cancel see right now idle is high but if i cancel the idle it's possible that the engine will shut down because see the pressure is very low See how low is the pressure? The computer is requesting 7,000 and the engine is only pushing 3,000, which is not good. Um, see, that is not good. And that is the reason why the computer is calling this fault code right here. Now it's active, see? Fault code is active saying then the pressure is below it's not raising up it's supposed to when we hit the gas it's supposed to stay about the same amount but see it's not getting anything it's just staying low it's very possible then we have a problem with that also we cannot discard we cannot discard the possibility was having a bad fuel filter right here but it doesn't look bad at all it could be but we cannot discard that possibility but most of the time if you're getting this issue the fuel pump is the one that goes bad causing this issue especially on these years the ones that have more issues about fuel pumps and we still having low fuel pressure which means then we have to replace the fuel pump and I'm surprised and the engine hasn't shut down I'm very surprised but um, it is not good to see this fuel pressure right here well um, at least we have the the uh, the reason why the fault code is getting active right there now if you don't know about this on these cascadias we come inside a sex engines it's very hard to replace this fuel pump because there is no room underneath but it is possible it's just matter to know how to do it um, eventually everybody learns how to do it but this fuel pump has to be replaced in order to fix this issue. So, I'm right here in 
Odessa, Texas right now. And at this video, I could do it in Fontana, but I couldn't. I mean, I had the opportunity to do this video, so why not in different states? So if you like this video, please uh, like the button, uh, click the like button and uh, share it, subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. And thank you for watching.